for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you complete analysis and designing of multi story building with the help of the loose soil condition system basically the black cotton soil and which is consisting of high amount of the water content in the particular soil we will call it as loose soil condition if you construct the building in that particular soil condition we need high amount of the reinforcement values and high amount of the depth of the particular foundation okay so in this video i will explain you uh, complete designing process and analysis process of multi story building which is exist in the black cotton soil which is comes under the loose soil condition so i was already done the modeling process for the particular multi story building so i will show you the model initially so please follow my previous videos for the complete modeling process so why because the modeling process is not important the designing process and results are important that's why i am skipping the modeling process okay so here i am selecting my e tap software initially just i am selecting here click on the file option on the top click on the open option here so initially we need to select the model just i'm selecting here which is of new folder so select the ls which is consisting of the loose soil condition basically the properties of the loose soil condition we need to define in the category of the seismic loading condition definition okay why because we need to consider the considerations of the loose soil rock soil as well as the medium soil condition system in the seismic loading condition definition which is uh, act in both x direction condition as well as the y direction condition as per the is 1893 codal provision standard system okay now we can see this is the plan view as well as this is the 3d view for the building structure so firstly i will show you the loose soil properties go to click on the define option so in this we need to select the load cases option okay so otherwise you can select the load patterns also just i am selecting here as load patterns here just i was define the loads which is comes under the dead loading condition live loading condition seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition so here i am selecting seismic loading condition click on the modify option so firstly we have to select the seismic zone factor so in this case just i am considering the seismic zone factor is 0.36 which is exist in high seismic zone zone 5 seismic condition okay the low soil condition is one worst case and a high seismic zone condition is one worst case okay so here i was taken the worst case of the building structure for the consideration so if you consider this respected site type which is consisting of three categories one is one and is one second one is two and third one is three okay so in this first one is related to the rock soil condition which is having less amount of the water content okay so basically the two will be consisting of your medium soil condition and the last one is comes under the loose soil condition so here i am selecting the properties which is comes under the loose soil condition system for the both x direction condition system as well as the y direction condition system now i will show you the grade of the concrete and grade of the steel which is considered for the building structure define option material property so for this structure just i was taking m30 grade l concrete provision as well as hys rebars of 500 grade steel in the same process i will show you the uh, dimensions of the beams and columns so i was taking the dimensions of the beam is approximately 0.35 cross 0.45 and column is 0.45 cross 0.45 so now i will show you the thickness of the slab go to define option select the section property which is related to the slab section i was taking approximately 150 mm okay so click on the okay option so i was applied the all the load cases which is comes under this particular category which is of gravitational loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition systems okay so now i will show you that so click on the right click on this click on the loads option now you can see it was applied the live load which is of 3.5 kN per meter square for the slab and i was applied the dead load of the particular uh, marble sand tiles which is of 2 kN per meter square so after uh, making all the load application process we need to analyze the structure for that go to analysis option check models option so here i am selecting the checks which is comes under the joint two members only click on the okay option if you have obtained with zero errors here then we can directly proceed with the designing process according to the low side now we can see it is obtained with no warning messages okay click on the cancel option click on the design on the top so before designing we need to analyze the structure okay so for that go to analyze option again click on the uh, set load cases to run option here click on the run now option 
so that the model will be start analyzing according to your considerations of the load cases as well as the load combination so here in this case i was taken the load combination which is related to the uh, gravity loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition systems okay now you can see here the model is going to the analysis process so if you uh, done with the analysis process we can i will show you the uh, results which is comes under the shear force bending moment torsion for the building structure according to your considerations of the loads now you can see it was done with a deflection diagram this is the deflection diagram for the building structure which is of multi story building which is considered for the consider load cases okay so after that we need to see the shear force diagram bending moment diagram click on the display option select the forces and stresses select the forces this time selecting the force which is of shear to to option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structure consideration again i am selecting moment 3 3 click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram according to the consideration then after that we have to select the torsion diagram click on apply so that it will display the torsion which is comes under the considerations of the dead loading condition system so after checking the results which is comes under the analysis process we need to design this building so before that we need to unlock the model now we have to add the strip condition system for the uh, different floors okay so for that go to click on the edit option here select the edit grid strip select add strip condition just i am selecting six story which is of x direction with strip layer is a click on apply in the same process we need to apply the strip condition system for the y directional case just i am selecting the direction which is comes under the y which is of b click on apply option so that it will display the y direction condition strip layer option then after that we need to select the uh, story number 5 in the same process we need to apply the strip condition system which is of x which is of a click on apply option in the same process we need to pick the direction which is of y direction condition system here and layer will be of b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the respected eighth story in the same process you can apply the strip condition system according to fourth story third story second story first story now here i was applied the all the strip condition system for the different flows then after that we need to do the analysis process for the building structure just i am going to the analyze option here click on set load cases to run again click on the run now again so that it will do the analysis process again as per the considerations of the strip condition system it was done with complete analysis process here so now we have to design the structure go to click on design concrete frame design select the view revised preferences as per your code consideration is 456 click on okay again we have to click on design option concrete frame design click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected member which is of beams and columns according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system so after designing process completed for the particular frame sections we need to proceed with the designing process according to your slab designing section okay now you can see all the members are passed here for the respected beam consideration we need to design the slab so click on the slab designing section we revise your preferences select your respected code here is 456 2000 click on okay so again we have to select this particular option click on the select number of the stories so here i am selecting the stories which is comes under the uh, 654321 click on okay then after that we have to click on this slab designing section again click on the start designing check again okay so that it will start designing check for the respected slab section according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system for the first slab second slab third slab fourth slab as well as the fifth slab and last will be of sixth slab then after that it will show you the diagram which is comes under the loading distribution for the respected slab so we need to proceed with the designing process This is a reinforcement diagram which is distributed for the respected slab section according to consideration. We need to see this model, whatever the model that we are done here till now. Now we have to close the ETAP software here. Now we have to import the model to the CSI detailing software. This time selecting CSI detailing 18 version software here. Now my software was open here, so we need to import the model initially. Click on the file, click on the new detailing option, select the model. which we are saved here just i am selecting new folder ls section so initially the model will be open in etap software then after that the members which is comes under the beams columns as well as the slabs will be directly imported to this particular csi detailing version software we can do that detailing process according to our is 456 2000 codal provision system here in the csi detailing software version 
Now it was done with all the importing process. Firstly, we have to select the units here. This time selecting detailing units as per SI system. And we need to select the force will be in kilo Newton option. And select the rebar weight will be in ton option here. And click on OK option. Now we have to select the option here which is related to the preferences. And select the code according to IS456-2000. Click on OK. Select the concrete uh, rebar rules option here. This time selecting the minimum spacing for the B, uh, slab section which is a 120 here and maximum uh, spacing for the slab section is 350 here. In the same process I am selecting the beam section which is comes under the 120 spacing, 120 spacing, 120 spacing. Again I am taking the maximum spacing for the particular bar will be of 350, 350 and this is the 350. Select the columns here. This time selecting the minimum spacing will be comes under the value of 120 and maximum spacing will be comes under the uh, 350 value here ok click on ok option then after that we have to select these particular members then we have to click on the ok option directly so that it will start designing check your respected multi-story building structure with the considerations of the loose soil property ok so after that it will show you the complete reinforcement details on the left hand side it will be consisting of framing plan and this is a rebar plan for the particular slab member so again it will be consisting of your respected complete rebar plan this time selecting directly rebar kg option so that it will load the complete rebar kg view which is comes under the longitudinal direction as well as the lateral direction for the particular member according to your considerations of IS456-2000 codal provision standard system ok now we can see this is the rebar uh, plan which is comes under this particular section which is consisting of complete reinforcement value which is considered for the respective slab section if you want to design the structure then after that I will show you the beam results just I am selecting beam detailing select the elevation section select any one of the floor just I am selecting fourth floor randomly here just I am selecting here which is consisting of the section here like this which is comes under the beam and this is the A section reinforcement value this is a BB this is the C section reinforcement this is a D section this is a E section so this is the reinforcement profile for the particular member structure again you, you can directly click on the rebar KG option so that it will load the complete rebar reinforcement value which is comes under this particular reinforcement of the bars ok so again in the same process I am selecting the column designing section select the columns here select the elevation section select any one of the elevation this is the elevation for the member 1 elevation for the member 2 just I am selecting section A ok now we can see it will be consisting of approximately 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 6 which is approximately 60 members of the 18 mm diameter bar which is exist for this particular structure ok again in the same process you can select the A section B section directly select the rebar KG option for the particular uh, column member ok which is loaded loading here on the uh, left hand side section which is related to the lateral ties as well as the main bars so this is the complete reinforcement values profile which is comes under this particular structure ok so this is the complete process of analysis as well as the designing of multi-story structure with the help of the loose soil condition property as per IS456-2000 codal provision standard system if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box I will try to give the answer for the respected questions thank you